Using vertical construction methods, Tesla's Giga Nevada semi-factory is entering the final stages of major expansion with the installation of the first beams ready for production planning of 50,000 vehicles per year at this factory alone. According to this latest announcement from Elon Musk, this new facility will be the place to produce the latest Tesla Semi Gen 2, priced at $82,000, along with the FSD 12.5 version and the 48-volt system to replace the completed 12-volt. With the promise of adding up to 6,500 new full-time jobs to its existing 12,000 workforce, Giga Nevada Semi is set to become one of the largest expansions in the industry this year. So, how is the progress at Tesla's Giga Nevada Semi Factory accelerating to meet Elon's production plan? Tesla Giga Nevada is making significant strides in the construction of its Semi Factory expansion, marking a crucial step towards the company's goal of making 50,000 trucks annually by next year. This progress is not just about building a facility, it's about laying the foundation for the future of freight transportation. Tesla Giga Nevada observer Zangler captured video footage showing construction crews installing the first steel beams at the semi factory expansion site. Interestingly, these beams are being erected not with traditional cranes, but with multiple boom lifts, showcasing a unique approach to construction. This is a critical milestone symbolizing Tesla's commitment to advancing its electric truck program. Tesla initially broke ground on the Giga Nevada expansion since the beginning of this year, with the project set to add dedicated production facilities for both the Semi and the 4680 battery cell. Once complete, the expansion is expected to bring in as many as 6,500 additional full-time workers, adding to the roughly 12,000 that are currently employed. Over the last few months, the company has made consistent progress. The first steel beams were delivered early last month, and by this month, the footings for the building were already laid. These developments follow semi-program head Dan Priestley's reveal of a rendering of the completed factory, giving a glimpse into Tesla's ambitious plans. Choosing Nevada as the site for this expansion is a strategic move by Tesla. The Gigafactory in Nevada already houses the infrastructure for battery production, making it an ideal location to integrate the manufacturing of both the Semi and the 4680 battery cell. This integration is expected to streamline production, reduce costs, and ensure that the Semi's battery, the heart of the vehicle, meets the high standards set by Tesla's existing lineup. Additionally, Nevada's business-friendly environment and central location for distribution across the U.S. make it a perfect hub for Tesla's logistical operations, further solidifying the state's importance in the company's broader strategy. Tesla's target of producing 50,000 units a year by next year represents a major portion of the U.S. market, where approximately 200,000 trucks get sold every year. If achieved, this goal could disrupt the traditional freight industry, pressuring other manufacturers to transition from diesel power to electric alternatives. However, Tesla's path is not without its challenges. The electric truck market, while promising, still faces hurdles such as the development of adequate charging infrastructure, the higher upfront costs of electric trucks, and the need for fleet operators to adjust their operations. Tesla's approach includes not only manufacturing the trucks, but also establishing a network of mega chargers to address concerns about range and charging times. And the most important thing right now is that the Tesla Semi fire on I-80 near Colfax in Northern Cali, well, that's a big blow to Tesla's fan, which is on track to develop. So the big question is, will Elon continue Tesla Semi production as planned? The recent semi-fire has sparked serious concerns, but is unlikely to halt production or recall of delivered units. Instead, Tesla may just adopt a more cautious approach, focusing on meticulous packaging, assembly, and strategic battery placement to mitigate risks. Production will likely continue as planned. Despite this incident, Tesla remains committed to electrifying heavy-duty vehicles. Whether it's improving the battery system or switching to Tesla's new 4680 as an example, Elon's ensuring the future production is consistent with safety advances. Tesla's strategy may be tweaked, but the vision of mass-producing the Tesla pickup stays on track. How does Tesla make this semi more affordable? Tesla's announced many improvements in battery technology, manufacturing materials, and benefited from preferential policies, with the semi expected to reduce its price by about 56% to around 82 dollars compared to the current price of $150,000. Taking advantage of economies of scale as production increases, the fixed costs of manufacturing get spread over more units, reducing your per-unit cost. Tesla's Gigafactories are designed for high-volume production, which can lead to lower prices.
In addition, reducing battery size contributes to reducing the price of the Tesla Semi by up to 30%, but reducing battery size also poses important considerations. A lighter vehicle can improve cost, but Tesla must balance between reducing size leading to reduced weight and maintaining sufficient range for long-haul trucks. The Semi is designed for maximum efficiency, and range anxiety is a critical concern in the trucking industry. If Tesla reduces the battery size too much, it could result in a reduction in the vehicle's range, which could make it less competitive compared to traditional diesel trucks, which have greater range. In fact, the Semi is known for its exceptionally large battery pack designed for long hauling, with a gross weight of up to 82,000 pounds. The long-range version with a 500-mile range is estimated to have a battery capacity of somewhere between 850 to 900 kilowatt hours. If the battery pack were reduced to 800 kilowatt hours, the Tesla Semi would have a range of just 300 miles. The recent fire in California has highlighted the need for safer and more cost-effective battery technologies in EVs. Tesla's considering upgrades to solid-state and 4680 batteries as promising alternatives to the older 2170s. Solid states offer superior safety with better thermal stability and resistant to dendrite formation, which reduces fire risks significantly. A study from Michigan's university shows that they have 20 times lower failure rates in thermal runaway scenarios compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. In addition, the 4680 cells feature an improved cooling design, which distributes the heat evenly across the battery pack. This innovation reduces the risk of overheating and fire hazards, addressing a key concern raised by that recent Tesla semi-fire. The 4680s are part of Tesla's new structural battery pack design, which integrates the cells directly into the vehicle's frame. This design not only improves vehicle rigidity, but also offers better thermal management, further reducing fire risks. On the cost front, solid-state batteries are currently more expensive, potentially costing up to more than $400 a kilowatt hour, but are expected to get more affordable as the technology matures. Meanwhile, 4680s reduce manufacturing costs by 56% compared to 2170s, with higher energy density, allowing fewer cells per vehicle, resulting in savings. The higher energy density at 4680 is estimated to be around 380 watt-hours a kilo compared to 260 watt-hours a kilo for 2170s, allows Tesla to reduce the number of cells needed per vehicle, further lowering costs. For instance, the battery for a 500-mile semi could go down from 150 grand to $80,000 with 4680s, making the Tesla semi more affordable. Elon is exploring other technologies, such as using lighter materials like aluminum and composites to offset weight without sacrificing battery capacity. One long-standing concern of electric truck users is how does the Tesla semi compare to a traditional diesel truck? Is it worth the investment? While a semi is expected to have a higher upfront cost compared to a diesel truck priced at about $23,000, the lower operational costs. And this stems from the fact that the electric charging is cheaper than refueling with diesel. In early tests, the Tesla Semi's operating costs were about $1.26 a mile, lower than the $1.59 a mile for a traditional diesel truck. It could make the Semi a more economical choice in the long run. Tesla's electric powertrain is expected to require less maintenance compared to diesel engines, which are more complex and require frequent servicing. Diesel trucks might incur 15 cents a mile in maintenance, while the Tesla Semi's simple design could reduce that by up to 60%. Tesla claims that operating the Semi can save operators up to 200 grand in fuel costs over a million miles, given the lower cost of electricity compared to that of diesel. This is a good deal for an all-electric truck integrated with autopilot. More specifically, under the bill, commercial vehicles weighing over 14,000 pounds would be eligible for the $40,000 tax credit or an incentive worth 30% of the vehicle's cost, whichever is lower. The Semi would likely qualify for these incentives. With a $40,000 incentive, the Semi could be purchased for less than the Model S or Model X Plaid before the incentive. It can be said that as charging infrastructure improves and technology advances, the benefits of electric trucks could increase, making them a more attractive option for other fleets. How superior is the Tesla Semi Gen 2 version in terms of performance? When it comes to long-haul trucking, both range and charging speed are critical. The Tesla Semi is designed with a range of around 500 miles on a 900 kilowatt hour battery. While this range is competitive, operators hauling heavy loads might seek even longer. 
On the other hand, charging speed plays a crucial role in minimizing downtime. Tesla aims to provide fast charging capabilities with superchargers capable of recharging up to 500 miles in a half hour. This efficiency allows drivers to make quick stops and get back on the road, ensuring that trucking operations resume. Tesla Semi's Gen 2's full self-driving version 12.5 on hardware 3 represents a significant leap in autonomous trucking. This system enhances the vehicle's ability to autonomously navigate highways, optimizing route planning, lane keeping, and adaptive cruise control. These features contribute to better fuel efficiency and lower operating costs, making the Semi more appealing. Safety is also a major focus, with FSD version 12.5 incorporating accident prevention technologies like automatic emergency braking and collision avoidance, reducing human error. But in reality, ironic situations happen, and the question is, why could a Tesla Semi capable of FSD on the highway crash due to the driver falling asleep? FSD systems, including Teslas, often require a driver to take control in certain situations. If they fall asleep, they might not be able to respond quickly when the system requests a handoff for complex driving scenarios or unexpected situations. While FSD can handle many driving tasks, it's not infallible. In certain conditions, such as poor road markings, inclement weather, or complex traffic situations, the system might struggle, requiring driver intervention. If a driver monitoring system is not working properly or is unable to identify the driver's tiredness accurately, the system may fail to inform the driver in time to avoid an accident. Even with monitoring, constant alerts might not be sufficient if the driver is already deeply asleep. The system's alerts may not be enough to wake up the driver or prompt a timely response. Unexpected obstacles or sudden changes in traffic conditions can occur that require immediate human intervention. In case of emergencies such as sudden braking or evasive actions, the driver needs to be alert to take over. Switching from a traditional 12-volt system to a cutting-edge 48-volt marks a transformative leap for the Tesla Semi, showcasing its advanced engineering. The 48-volt system dramatically enhances power delivery, allowing motors and accessories to operate with greater efficiency and responsiveness. By reducing current flow, it minimizes electrical resistance losses, optimizing energy transfer from the battery, and improving overall system performance. The higher voltage system empowers the semi's electric motors to achieve impressive torque at lower speeds, a crucial advantage for heavy-duty applications. Additionally, the 48-volt architecture enables the use of lighter, thinner wiring, contributing to significant weight reductions. This not only boosts efficiency, but also enhances handling and maneuverability, key factors for long-haul trucking. Moreover, the switch to a 48-volt system to replace the 12-volt before also means fewer bulky components, such as heavy inverters, resulting in further weight savings. Drivers will experience a smoother, more refined ride thanks to a better motor control and reduced vibration. Enhanced battery management is another benefit, offering superior monitoring and optimization of battery performance. Plus, the system supports faster charging, reducing downtime, and making the Tesla Semi a standout choice for efficient long-distance transport. How will the new sleeper cap impact the performance and competitive edge of the Tesla Semi? Tesla's update to their sleeper cab introduces several impactful changes. The Semi's existing design features a wheelbase of approximately 300 inches. The new sleeper cab's added weight and width could impact weight distribution. According to Tesla, the redesigned cab will be engineered to ensure optimal stability and handling, but specific weight distribution adjustments have not been detailed yet. Historically, extended wheelbases can affect handling. For example, the Freightliner East Cascadia, with the wheelbase options for the East Cascadia ranging from approximately 236 to 280 inches, requires advanced steering technologies to manage maneuverability. The current semi achieves a coefficient of drag of 0.36, which is already among the best for Class A trucks. The new cab design may slightly increase drag, but Tesla's design improvements are likely to focus on maintaining or enhancing aerodynamic efficiency to offset any potential increases. Research from the U.S. Department of Energy shows that reducing drag by 1% can improve fuel efficiency by about 5%. Considering that trucks can travel up to 120,000 miles per year, optimizing aerodynamics can save thousands in fuel costs. The updated sleeper cab is expected to offer a more spacious interior. For context, the Volvo VNR Electric and Freightliner Z Cascadia provide sleeper compartments with less emphasis on driver comfort. Tesla's focus on creating a more comfortable environment could give it a competitive edge. The Tesla Semi's new cab design could potentially set it apart from competitors that have less spacious or less advanced sleeper options. 
According to the survey by the American Transportation Research Institute, 68% of drivers consider comfort and convenience in their vehicles a top priority. Enhanced sleeper cab features can directly impact driver satisfaction and retention. Currently, the global electric truck market is predicted to increase from $1.2 billion to about $10.4 billion in 2027, representing an increase of 36.5%. Tesla's advances could give the company a huge leg up in this expanding market. The new cab design may increase the turning radius due to the extended wheelbase. The current semi has a turning radius of about 50 feet. An increased wheelbase could extend this radius, making advanced steering solutions necessary. For example, Freightliner's eCascadia features advanced steering technology to manage maneuverability, indicating a similar approach might be needed for the semi. Because rear-wheel steering can reduce the turning radius by up to 20%, it significantly improves maneuverability in tight spaces. So, is reducing the semi's operating range to accommodate a larger cab a smart trade-off? Yes, it was a decision worth the trade-off. The Tesla Semi's current range is about 500 miles. If the new cab design reduces this range, it must be balanced with improvements in charging infrastructure. If a larger truck reduces this range by 10 to 15 percent, it's still manageable as long-haul drivers often plan their routes around charging stations. The evidence is that Tesla's supercharger network, capable of adding 500 miles in a half hour, addresses this concern. Meanwhile, Volvo's VNR offers a range of up to 275 miles. That's less than two times lower than the semi's range. This remains competitive even with potential reductions. One other important reason is that a study by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health found that drivers who had comfortable sleeping quarters reduced fatigue and improved performance, potentially leading to better driving times. What do you think about this new Tesla semi development? Will Tesla overcome its current difficulties? To reach their goal of making 50,000 units every year? We'd be happy if you left comments about that. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please press the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope to see you soon. Take care, and God bless.